All right, what's up, friends? I'm gonna fiddle with this camera a little bit here. Yeah, I think that's I think that's a better angle. Sorry for my slight tardiness. I was getting this little setup done over here. While people are hopping in, I did want to share a little bit of a pickup that I had earlier today for those of you who are here. I'm not sure I can see how many folks are hopping in right now, but this was a pretty solid score that I did want to uh, share really quickly. Whoa! <laughs> did you guys see that catch? That was insane. And of course, by you guys, I mean like me and the maybe two other people there watching right now. Um, so this was the result of a Facebook Marketplace deal. Um, I posted an ad on a bunch of uh, like local buy, sell, trade, and yard sale groups uh, just saying, hey, I buy video games. Shoot me pictures of what you have. And this person responded with these games, which I'm honestly pretty excited about. Uh, we have a couple of GameCube games, NFL Street, as well as NFL Street 2. These are each like in the $20 range or so, and they're both complete. So I'm excited about those. What I'm even more excited about is Def Jam Vendetta on the PlayStation 2. This one is not complete, unfortunately, um, but it's in there. I'm going to have to test this for sure. It looks a little bit scratchy, um, but I got these three games as well as a uh, Xbox 360 controller that's missing the back and also a, there it goes, a Wii Motion Plus controller that is also missing the back. All of this stuff for 25 bucks. So really solid deal. If the Death Jam is working, that's a really expensive game. Um, should be able to get 90 plus for it, I think, uh, even in this condition. Uh, so looking at over $100 profit on that deal, which uh, is pretty exciting, really good for just a simple Facebook Marketplace post. Thought I would warm us up a little bit with that one as people are trickling in. But let's just get right into this. Excited to see. Honestly, I've ordered so much stuff on GameStop.com this week that uh, I've kind of forgotten a little bit what all I've ordered. So it's going to be a little bit of a surprise for me as well as I'm digging into this stuff. All of these games were purchased because GameStop had a 50% off sale when you bought like six or more games of a certain value. So these are all the result of that. None of them were bought at GameStop's regular retail prices. Uh, first one we have here is Bloodstained. Ritual of the Night got a good number of copies of this. Uh, just a really good deal on this. I think I paid $5.50 a piece or something. Uh, so they, I wouldn't be surprised if it ends up tripling up Easy double up, though, on that. I see we have people hopping in here. I think since I'm going through StreamYard, I think my uh, feed might be a little bit delayed. So I apologize for that. What's up, Trills, Logan, Reggie? <laughs> Reggie says, Dad? I don't think so. Uh, okay, here we go. This is next one, WarioWare Smooth Moves. It is loose. Uh, this looks pretty good, though. That's what that looks like. Honestly, kind of expect that with Wii games. Uh, this was $7.50 on sale. So that should be at least a double up, even in acceptable condition. What I'm looking for, what I'm crossing my fingers for on all of these packages is uh, just complete condition. Every once in a while, and we'll see if it happens in this stack, they will send me a, like, game that is actually sealed like i bought it in used condition but it ends up being sealed that's like the big that's the jackpot um and then every once in a while they'll also send a special edition when they weren't supposed to so we'll see if that happens today hello brian hey there uh pick flip joel thanks for hopping in we got another copy of wario wear here on the wii that was a solid find how many of you guys in the chat are uh, Amazon video game sellers? Or how many of you are actually just like eBay or Mercari? I would love to hear that. Just get an idea of the distribution uh, in the comments, in the chat section. 
Bummer getting GameStop cases, yeah. I kind of expect it, honestly. Uh, and I'm pleasantly surprised when games are complete like that Bloodstained. But we'll get a pretty good idea. Oh, wow. Or when they don't even bother to give me a case. Um, this is Farsight the Pinball Arcade. Uh, bought, some, bought a decent number of pinball games, different pinball games. For some reason, uh, they had some value. I don't really know. Um, I want to say what I pay for this. Yeah, seven fifty for that one as well. Should go for around fourteen on Amazon. I'm gonna have to start a separate stack for literal disc only games. Luckily, I have a just oodles of cases over there, empty. I got in bulk. Uh, John, the Florida Flipper, asked, did it start? Yes, I think it started. Can everyone else see me okay? Hopefully it can. Everyone else can. Uh, Esteban, thanks for hopping in. Justin also took advantage of this. Harry Potter, Deathly Hollows 2. Okay. Yeah, solid uh, bolo. I'll have to check that one out. I think I, is that on the PS3? I think I've bought some of those before. Um, but this one, another copy of Bloodstain, and it is complete. You can see original price on that, $17.99. Uh, and I got my copies for five fifty a piece. So awesome deal on those. I don't think there's. It was like a double sale kind of a thing, and I don't think either of the sales are going on anymore. So you'd probably be stuck with eighteen bucks if you're looking to get that now. Natamore, what's up? Uh, what's my sales on Amazon for the year? Uh, I may have to check that a little bit later on eric but i can let you know avery <laughs> good to see you as well dean hey there from the uk see here's one of those other pinball games marvel pinball epic collection you can see original price was 10 bucks but i paid five should probably get around 10 maybe 15 on amazon nice to see it complete got to check in the bottoms of all these because i have gotten some 3ds games i think i'm expecting like a scooby-doo at some point Pac-Man case has been having success on Mercari. That's good to know. Tell me about Mercari. Is it like, do you feel like there's less competition there than eBay? How how are those sales? Are their fees less as well? Don't they have like the 10% flat fee? I kind of like that. Bloodstained again. Harry Potter games on PS3 are weirdly spiked. Did not know that, Justin. That is a good bolo. Does GameStop still have that sale going on? I thought that I checked earlier, and they don't, Natamore. Let me double-check that right now. I thought that it ended yesterday, but maybe it is still going on. It's not showing on their front page, at least. Save 50%. This says, buy two new games, get 50% off a pre-owned game online only. Um, so far, I'm not seeing... Yeah, that's the only one that I'm seeing, at least on their front page. So who knows if this sale is still going on or not. Natamore, if you've gotten stuff already today, then maybe it still is. Um, Froggy Flips, what's going on? Got another copy of Bloodstained here. I told you guys I got a lot of that one. It was a solid deal. <clears throat> Just posted, buy two, pre-owned, get two. Okay, so uh, some of these may still be worth on worth buying for those of you who are on Amazon. Uh, some of them have gone out of stock since purchasing. Here's a com is it complete? No. <laughs> well, here's a, at least the case for WarioWare Smooth Moves. That's what that looks like. I kind of like the art on that. Who's played this game? I've never played it. I want to say I played. What did I play? Some other Wario-based game on the Wii. Terrence, big fan. Thank you, man. I appreciate that love. Brett does uh, a lot on Amazon. Let's see. Resident. Okay. So this is actually a regretful buy for me. Um, slash GameStop negligence. So this is Resident Evil. It, this case says Resident Evil 4. Um, the listing on GameStop.com says Resident Evil Triple Pack, but you need the second two games of the Triple Pack are a download code that you need, are, are downloadable, that you need the code for. 
Um, so the fact that they are advertising in pre-owned condition as a triple pack and not really disclosing that what they're actually sending out is just Resident Evil 4 without the code, uh, to me is kind of deceitful. I'm going to see what this is actually going for on eBay. I might, um, I might just sell them on eBay. I don't think there's a listing on Amazon for just Resident Evil 4 without the code. Um, so that's kind of disappointing. Would not recommend. Normally this is out of stock anyway. I managed to pick up a couple copies and kind of regret it, but I won't lose money on it. It's just not, not a great deal, even at 10 bucks. I'm looking here to see on the uh, site if I can find that deal. I believe you guys, though, if there are multiple people saying that the sale is still going on. There it is. All pre-owned games, 30 bucks or less. So, yeah, definitely still opportunity on some of these. Uh, Marvel Pinball Epic Collection Volume 1. <clears throat> but yes, there is a limit. It has to be six or more. Oh, that's something else. Um, yeah, that 10% off flat fee is, uh, or 10% fee rather, another Marvel pinball is really nice. I'm kind of envious of that. I think eBay's fees are, well, they don't have PayPal fees anymore, so at least that's kind of nice. eBay has been great to me this year. Jesse says that is good to hear. All right, got a, whoa, got another copy of Wario Wear Smooth Moves. This one, let's go. It does have the manual. Nice complete copy. That's what you like to see. I, I would expect I'll probably get more than 15 bucks for this one. Because I can snatch that buy box. Snatch that very good condition buy box. Oof. On a scale of 1 to 10, how messy is this room going to be by the time this opening is done? <laughs> Pac-Man Case says, smooth moves is awesome, especially after a drink or two. That does sound like a lot. Of, I think a lot of games that's true for. <laughs> hey, if you guys haven't hit that like button yet, definitely do that. Give this give this homely little channel some exposure in the algorithm. <laughs> Here's another Marvel pinball. Uh, and then this is a new one, Marvel, or not Marvel, One Piece Pirate Warriors 4. Game only. Not a bad deal. With Switch games, honestly, I kind of do expect to get more that are still in the case. Oh, yuck. That is, that is, I don't know if you guys can see this, but this case is just gross. Like, it's just got crud inside of it. That's not what you want to find. Also, it doesn't. it's one of those that doesn't close, so it's going to have to get replaced either way. There's no scrubbing that off. Need to start trying to do resale. Yeah, Terrence, there's a lot of opportunity out there, especially I, I think that the opportunity is disproportionate if you're trying to do online arbitrage like this, like buying on GameStop and selling online, uh, selling on Amazon really helps because prices tend to be a little bit more inflated there, even though you do have to pay some fees. See, this is the one I was talking about. I knew there was a 3DS game in here somewhere. Scooby-Doo, Looney Tunes Cartoon Universe Adventure. Game only, but was a good deal. I think I paid like five bucks for that as well. Live in Oslo, Norway. Well, hello from overseas, robot in, robot in my space. <laughs> or is it robot in my space? Got another copy of Bloodstained here on the Xbox One. Ordered countless times and noticed that sometimes they don't actually have the retro ones specifically in stock. Have a $12 Pokemon Yellow from the sale awaiting availability. Yeah, so honestly, game. So first of all, GameStop's retro availability has gone down the tubes. 
Um, they don't accept that stuff anymore. Who knows why? I honestly can't get my head around it. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus on me again. Um, they don't take anything older than like latest gen stuff. Well, latest like PS4, Switch, Xbox One. Um, I have no idea why they do that. I like maybe they're trying to make their business model simpler. Maybe they don't really care about what their customers want, but like people want to buy older games and now they like can't go to GameStop for it. So anyway, all that to say like stuff like that still is coming back into stock. I don't really know how they're getting it because they're not taking it in at most of their stores. I don't know. Search me. If anybody knows, let the chat know. Um, here's, wait, no, I was just using that to focus the darn thing. Um, so this right here is actually not from GameStop. This is from AliExpress. One thing that I mention in my videos a lot is how I get packages uh, of like accessories, peripherals, like caps and stuff like that, covers that oftentimes you will find consoles or handhelds missing, styluses, things like that in bulk from AliExpress. And this is actually one of those orders. So I wanted to open this up as well for a little bit of variety for you guys and show you kind of what this looks like. Um, the huge benefit to it is that it's way cheaper than eBay. So I think what I have in here is some Game Boy Color caps, if I'm not mistaken, um, for like battery covers. And these would be like in the neighborhood of, I don't know, maybe a few bucks each or so on eBay if I bought them stateside. But yeah, these are all the, I think this is called the Atomic Purple Color. This is what they look like. They rarely match exactly with the shade of uh, the color or the system or whatever itself. So I will put in the description of my listing. Comes with third-party battery cover. Um, but I will still sell stuff in very good condition that does have one of these replacements. Um, so these would have been like, maybe two bucks a piece or something if I would have bought them on eBay, but buying them bulk on AliExpress, they were like less than 50 cents a piece, uh, which is well worth it because it increases the value significantly of the item. So pro it's way cheaper con. It takes longer to ship. AliExpress is kind of just a wonky website in general. Uh, and they don't match exactly with the actual like official Nintendo ones, but this is how I do it. So I wanted to bring you guys in a little bit on that aspect of the business. Back to the games. Had about three issues with GameStop orders this week. Sonic Mania Plus. Yeah, they they don't actually have a listing that I have found on GameStop, GameStop's website um, for the regular Sonic Mania. They just I think they just put every Sonic Mania Plus or otherwise into the plus listing, which is pretty irresponsible, in my opinion. This is another bloodstained disc only. And then another WarioWare Smooth Moves. Not too much variety yet. I think we should get some, though. Coming up here, put that in the disc only section. Alan B, new sub. Hey, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Let me catch up a little bit in the chat here. Hello from Alaska, Geraldine. That's really cool. Sold a bunch of repros to GameStop when they bought retro stuff. Maybe that's why they stopped Retro Papa. <laughs> um, Castlevania Symf Symphony at the night at a thrift store in mint condition, but no game inside. Should I sell that without the game or wait to see if I ever come across the disc by itself. Uh, personally, I don't keep a lot of cases unless it's like a really high value game. Uh, I don't keep a lot of cases at all, except the blank ones that I have in there. Uh, I find I just don't have the space. If I had a bunch more space, I might keep like a shelf of empty cases that I could pair stuff with. Right now, my space is just pretty limited. So I don't do a lot of, of that specifically. I know Chase does do that and other video game sellers do that as well i would i mean i'd recommend it i guess theoretically i just i just don't um but one day one day i will how 
how many games did I get? I don't know, Brandon, how many games I get. Truthfully, I didn't even count these packages. I just estimated 44. I think that was a conservative estimate. Um, but uh, I guess we'll see at the end of this how many games it was. Remind me to count them at the end, and I'll try. Um, always lose my Game Boy battery covers. <laughs> yeah, I, I think... Actually, I don't know if I ever did lose mine as a kid. Okay, here's a new one that was a little bit of a surprise for me that I did not expect to hold any value. Um, Ice Age, Scratch Nutty Adventure. <clears throat> this That's like a, like a 3D platformer. Yeah, almost like a... You know, like a Mario 64 style game, except he's like chasing after nuts the whole time. I kind of want to play it, to be honest. After seeing it, I was like, it looks kind of fun. This is a Farming Simulator on the Switch. Another not bad deal, a little bit of a slower seller. Sonic Mania. Have I gotten anywhere with my GameStop points, Greg asks. Greg, let's just say I think you're going to really like my video on Tuesday. So stay tuned for that. It is a premiere coming out at 11 a.m. Uh, and I'm glad that you brought that up because the video that I have coming out on Tuesday, I'm prouder of than almost any of my other videos I've ever released. So uh, set your reminders, folks. Hit that bell because Tuesday's video is going to be a banger. That's, uh, that's all I'm going to say for now. Let me catch up here. Okay, so this is another one. I don't think I got a ton of copies of this because it was a little bit of a slower seller. Sometimes people will ask me kind of what my threshold is. Um, around 40K, I would say. Once you get much above that, you're looking at games that probably only sell like maybe once or twice a month so to me that's kind of a danger zone got a couple of these these might have been like high 30s uh grid for the xbox one i can't really remember honestly how fast these sell and there's no price on them so oh there we go i paid i paid 550 a piece on these so not much of a an expenditure there and then also the long dark this is one that i have bought before in gamestop sales um also not bad. I want to say the rank was like artificially high when I looked at it, like 43,000, but historically it hasn't been that high, so I still pulled the trigger. I don't know. Do I actually know what I'm doing? <laughs> uh, is Castlevania Sympathy Symphony of the Night like a super valuable game? I don't even can't remember. I feel like I've sold that before, but I can't remember. Another Farming Sim Switch. <clears throat> Had someone ask me uh, on Instagram how to go about getting deals like these for those who do, especially those who do sell on Amazon. There are basically three ways, another Farming Sim Switch, that you can do it. One is the hard way, the way that I do it, which is every time GameStop has a sale, go through every one of their items that are on sale that you possibly can with your seller app, scan the thing, look it up, look at the price you're going to have to pay, look at the profit that you can make, and analyze every single game that way. Um, this last week, I went through like 80 pages of GameStop results for this one sale. Uh, it's work. Like, it's straight, like, you can't have profitable items arriving at your doorstep daily without just straight up putting in the work. Sometimes, you know what bugs me, people? Can I just rant for a little bit? People sometimes talk about reselling and online arbitrage and retail arbitrage as passive income. There's, there's nothing passive about this. The buying isn't passive. This unboxing, opening, sorting, organizing, cleaning process is not passive. The selling isn't passive. Listing, shipping, prepping shipments. Like, <laughs> this is not passive income, people. Whew, rant over. I'm cooling off. Um, so anyway, it's work. Uh, that's one thing that you can do. You can go back. This is maybe a little bit of a shortcut. I've posted multiple GameStop opening videos, um, 
at this point, I'm sharing a lot of this information for free, just, you know, to try to gain exposure to provide, you know, a lot of free value. Um, so you can go back to those videos, kind of make a mental note of it. And then when you see them on the sales, you can check those ones specifically. Honestly, I'd recommend going the harder way rather than that, because you'll learn a lot more if you expect to be doing a lot of like video game store arbitrage, um, pawn shop arbitrage, stuff like that. Other things that I do as well. Sorry, this is uh, farming sim on the switch. Again, that's our fourth copy of that. Um, so you can do that. You just have to know, like you have to check back daily to GameStop or subscribe to their emails or something like that. Every time they are having a sale, um, or the last way, shameless plug, is to join the Discord where I just post games that I'm buying during the sales that they are applicable in, along with like prices and profit margins and how much you can expect to make uh, every time the GameStop does have a sale, because I'm checking all that stuff regularly. Anyway, this is another copy, complete copy of Warrior Wear Smooth Moves. So those are the three ways. Um, I've gotten really solid feedback on the Discord so far from people. So thank you for those who have hopped into it. First couple of weeks are free if you want to try it out. Um, I think people are making some solid money. So, And I think I linked it in the description of this video. If not, it's in one of my other recent videos. This is one that we haven't seen yet. Days on the PS4. Uh, Paid 14 for this. I think this went out of stock pretty soon after I started ordering it, but I think that should be a solid like 30 plus dollar game and to get it complete is really nice. Look at this. This is what you want to see from good old GameStop right here. A nice hefty stat of complete or complete-ish games. One of, one of those Warrior Wares doesn't have the manual. I put that in the wrong stack. And then a nice tiny little stack of acceptable condition games. I give them a solid B rating, maybe B plus for GameStop. I mean, you got to grade them on a little bit of a curve. All right, I've been I've been ranting for too long. Let me catch up with the chat. <clears throat> went to a yard sale. <laughs> Kenneth says I went to that same yard sale that the guy wanted a grand for the PS3. Did you, Ken? Did you try to convince him that it was worth way less than that? Like pull up eBay and stuff. I didn't. I was like. Peace, man. Like a thousand dollars for a backwards compatible three PS3 is just we're not in the same ballpark. Like I don't want to pay you a tenth of that. So I didn't mess with it. If you did, let me know. Uh, another Stern Arcade Pinball. This is the Switch version. Also was a decent buy. I would just sell the case. It may take years to just find the disc. That tends to kind of be my attitude as well, J Dub. Uh. Looks like case and manual are hard to come by. Yeah. Hey there, supercar sightings. Didn't expect to have a uh, supercar fan on this channel, but that's kind of cool. Uh, another farming sim on the Switch. Pretty solid ratio on this. Only, yeah, they've all been complete, all the farming sims. So that's a good little thing to note. Spending my Sunday listing Boy Scout patches. Dang, I've heard some of those, especially the old ones, can hold some solid value. So uh, what's been the most expensive one that you've listed so far, J-Dub? Got, okay. <clears throat> I don't really remember this one. Uh, Trailblazers on the Switch. And maybe I bought this in my sleep. I don't really know. 15 bucks. So seven fifty for that one. <clears throat> Brunswick, Canada. Man, we got all kinds of global representation today. That's awesome. My trash can is already overflowing. <laughs> it can probably see it over there. Yikes. Days Gone Bootleg? <laughs> no. Yeah, that'd be a pretty crappy bootleg. They couldn't even get the title right. Another copy of Trailblazer Complete and Grid with the original price of nine bucks on the Xbox One. 
what do I do if uh, I don't feel confident on a disk's condition? Uh, if I have the system currently, I will test it. So I mentioned earlier, I don't know if you were here, I got um, a copy of Def Jam on the PS2 that I'm not confident in the uh, condition of. It has some scratches. I don't have a PS2 right now, so I'm going to wait till I get one to test it. If it doesn't work, then yes, I will throw that sucker right in the JFJ and, uh, you know, scrub it up a little bit. Farming Simulator, no, our first Farming Simulator copy that's not complete. Why? I'll get over it. Just let me, <clears throat> just let me pout for a second. Nothing else in there except for Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Um, this one looks like somebody rubbed their mucus on it, uh, but no scratches, so... Dang it. Pick a Nintendo Switch Animal Crossing. Really don't know what I should price it at to sell it. Jimmy, um, I would definitely recommend trading it rather than trying to sell it right now. They're in stock, I think, on GameStop.com right now, maybe Amazon as well. Um, don't know how much longer they will be, uh, but at the moment, there's another farming sim, by the way. Uh, at the moment, not a lot of cash resale value, uh, at least to people who are price sensitive and are willing to check other places in the market. So instead, what I would do is what I've done so far. I've already done one trade like this. I have a few more systems up there that, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I still have a posting up for. Stop doing that, camera. Um... So yeah, post it up for trade, let people message you and say, uh, hey, this is what I have. And the biggest tip that I would have on that one, Jimmy, would also be like when people do message you, and inevitably you'll have someone saying, hey, I've got a PS3 and two games. You know, do you want to trade for your $300 system? What I would do and what I have been doing in that situation, come on camera, is saying, hey, there's really not enough value there, but would you be open to just a cash offer on it? And I've been using that as a way to basically buy things that are not for sale. That's like a, a sort of an old adage. I don't know if it's from the resale industry or not, um, but buying things that are not for sale is a great way to uh, you know, have access to items that other people don't. So when somebody messages you and says, hey, I have this Wii bundle that in reality is worth about 200 bucks, <clears throat> you can say, hey, I've had better offers than that for the trade already, but if it's something you're looking to get rid of, uh, I can pay you, you know, I can just give you a cash offer of, for example, 80 or 100 bucks. You make your profit, they go away with cash on something they didn't want anymore, and you still have your switch to trade for that elusive $500, $600 trade deal. That would be my advice on that. Sorry, that was kind of a long answer. We've got a couple copies of Crash Team Nitro Fueled Racing. This one has a really solid sales rank, a little bit lower of a profit margin, but I was still happy with that. Uh, and then a couple copies of Creed Rise to Glory. I've gotten a bunch of these already uh, and sent them off. They were like nine bucks a piece. I think they'll sell at around 17 or so. I'm hoping that rather than tanking in price, these will go up as we get closer to the holidays and more and more people are getting like VR systems and stuff like that, especially as I think PS5 availability is not, is just not going to, I don't think there's going to be a ton of it. Maybe I'll be wrong and people will be able to go back on this video and say, huh, eh, what an idiot. But it seems like they're looking pretty scarce at the moment. Let me know in the chat if you've been able to cop some pre-orders or any, even a single pre-order for the Xbox Series X or the PS5. <clears throat> I was able to cop not only a PS5, but also a semi-viral YouTube video out of that whole experience. So definitely patted myself on the back for that one. Really should just pat the algorithm on the back more than anything, but I'll give myself some credit. Another loose copy of Farming Simulator. Not loose, but doesn't have the thing in it. Um, how, 
how am I doing on Pokemon Prism? That is a great question. Have not started it. Wish I had the time. Uh, technically, I have had the time to start it, but I've been playing Breath of the Wild still, just like doing random shrines and stuff. <laughs> that I just got a new TV, and that is made, what do you think, the most beautiful game of all time? Can anyone think of a better one? Such a stinking beautiful game. When we were playing it on a much, like I went from a 31-inch to a 58-inch TV, boy, that game looks freaking gorgeous. What better way to enjoy a nicer TV than by playing Breath of the Wild? I have no idea if one exists. <clears throat> Do I recommend resurfacing? My game store does it for $2 a disc. I don't know if collectors consider that a devalued game. Um, I don't know about like collectible value on stuff that's been resurfaced. I really, what I know is that like, a game that works is worth more than a game that doesn't work. So that's when I resurface stuff. I don't do it necessarily just for cosmetic reasons. If it looks scratched, uh, I'll always test it rather than just immediately resurfacing it. And if it does need it, then I will resurface. Another loose copy of WarioWare. Speaking of that, let's check out this disc and see how it looks. Uh, not, not bad. Some light surface scratches but not really any reason for concern not anything that the camera would really be able to pick up well hey look there's me hi me how's that for some uh meta youtube content right there you didn't expect that one <laughs> we we switch it up here at phoenix resale we keep it real one thing that i'm kind of proud about low-key about this channel is i feel like my content, at least so far, has not been uh, like very formulaic at all. I feel like I've done a good job of switching it up, you know, keeping people guessing. And there are a few videos and one or two series on my channel that I think are like really original. So pretty proud of that aspect of my content. All right, nice. Another complete copy of WarioWare. And another complete copy of Bloodstained as well. Although, this kind of bothers me. Is it just me? Somebody let me know. Let me turn notifications off for this, because that is annoying. There we go. Um, so, let me know if this is a pet peeve for anyone else. Oftentimes, I will get cases in the mail that don't close. I feel like the last generation of games, their cases are especially fragile. This happens a lot more with Xbox One and PS4 games, I think, than Wii, PlayStation 3, uh, Xbox 360 games. I thought that those cases were honestly hardier, and I don't understand why. I hope that next-gen cases go back to being a little bit sturdier, uh, because that's just a, that's just a downer getting a case. Of, like, it just bugs me. Does it, does, am I the only one? I don't know. Just finished my 17th shrine. Nice job. I think I just finished my like hundred scrub. <laughs> just kidding. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Ooh, this is a good one too. I think, I don't know. I think this might have gone out of stock. I don't know if it's back in stock now. Fortune Street on the Wii. This was a solid, I think this was seven bucks or so. And wow, not only is it complete with the manual, but we also got a nice little uh, advertisement in here for Donkey Kong Country Returns. What is that? Skyward Sword? I really like those kind of inserts in games. They're kind of like a, like a piece of history, I think. So really nice, complete copy here. Happy to see that. Get me camera. There we go. Of Fortune Street. I think I should have some more of those coming. If not, you know, maybe in a future unboxing. If they use a good machine like an Eco Pro, $2 is worth it. Yeah, if you don't have too many, like if you're doing like, you know, one or two a month, uh... 
I would say that's that's a perfectly fine expenditure. If you're doing like ten a month, suddenly the math works out that it kind of makes sense to just get your own because like within a year it will have paid for itself. Uh, Nintendo Switch farming simulator. I guess that would be my recommendation. Like, I don't know, like maybe eight or more a month. It's better to just get your own. And I think they just released, JFJ just released a new model where that only requires one cycle rather than two, which is pretty cool. Another nice, complete copy of Fortune Street on the Wii. I will take that any day. Has anyone played Fortune Street? Is this like a board game game? This looks like chaos. Like, is it like a, a strategic property and investment video board game? This is this is Nintendo's monopoly. This sounds awful. Ugh. Uh, I don't know. Maybe someone's played it. Tell me if I'm wrong. Pretty sure all the GameStop discs older than this gen are resurfaced. I've got gotten in trouble reselling GameStop stuff on eBay because hardcore collectors know when resurfaced. Interesting. I've never had that issue, Nail, but uh, I believe you. I got a guy that charges $1 for JFJ resurfacing, but it only works like half the time and disc does not look that great. That might be the case with resurfacing in general. It might not just be that guy. Um, but someone did say earlier in the comments that the Eco Pro is better, and that's definitely true. Eco Pro costs like 10 times, 20 times what a JFJ does. Here's another copy of Bloodstain, by the way. We're, we're piling it up. The money is coming in, folks. If it goes through GameStop Warehouse, they resurface every disc no matter what. Interesting. Learn something new every day. Thanks, Lipsy. Okay, so this was an interesting one as well. Shantae Half Genie Hero on the PS Foe. Unfortunately, wrong case. This was a slow seller. Um, but people like Shantae. It's a pretty popular series. And seemed like I could double up on it eventually, so pulled the trigger. I think it was only like eight bucks or something. So if that's one you're looking for. At least when I checked, it was in stock. Shantae Half Genie Hero. Is it a certain edition? Nope, regular edition. Wrong pile. Sort of getting down to it back there. Oh my goodness, you stupid camera. Ten discs every week. Dang, you're doing some serious numbers, Natamore. Any PS5 games? Uh, no, uh, no, man. I don't think that those are out yet, to my knowledge. Won't be for a while, at least a month. Um, here we go. Here's a One Piece Pirate Warriors 4 that is complete for the Switch. So... Happy to see that. Add that to the pile. Check out the ratio of complete to incomplete for Switch games. Pretty nice. And this is honestly pretty standard for me. 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Not too bad. Now, 3DS games, different story. That might be an inverse ratio of 3 to 10. Uh, Bloodstain. Again, good deal. Good rank. Can I explain what resurfacing is? How does it work? Yeah, Bobby. Um, so basically on games that have scratches, sometimes the scratches are what keep them from working when you put them in a system to play them. Here's another copy of Bloodstain. So uh, in order to buff those scratches out, you can use what's called a resurfacing machine. And it basically will either, there are two settings. The first setting is just a buffer. It's like a, like a hard sponge that it spins it really fast and has like a very light sanding effect. 
The other thing you can do if the scratches are a little bit deeper is there's actual sandpaper that will run through as part of the cycle. Then you buff it out. And then once the scratches are gone, sometimes it will help the games work. Not all the time. There are other things like super deep scratches or disc rot or things like that that the game's just not going to work anymore. Also, if you have resurfaced a game too many times, it can rub off the actual... I don't know how discs work, but it rubs off the thing that actually allows the disc to be red. Um, so don't resurface them too much if you have a choice. But also, if it's already not working, what do you have to lose? Another copy of Bloodstain. Shut the curtains and get a desk lamp spot on you to prevent focus going out of whack. Hmm. You think it? You think it has to do with the uh, the natural light? Because I can try that. I I don't have a desk lamp, but I have a. Uh, Eh, next time. It's somewhere. I have a ring light that I could definitely use. Turn autofocus off on the webcam. I will definitely figure out that out later because I don't want you guys to see me struggle to figure out basic tasks. <laughs> But next time I'll have that figured out. Fortune Street, disc only. Man, nobody's talking about the PS5, so I'm guessing not a whole lot of luck in this chat. Can't blame you. Those things are freaking hard to come by. Farming Sim on the Switch. Just a, just a riveter of a game. A must play for the system, to be sure. When does the sale end? I don't actually know. I thought that it ended yesterday, clearly. <laughs> so don't ask me. Here we go for... This one has something sticky on it. It's not one to come out. Come on. Camped at GameStop all night. Nice work, Judge. Got a PS5 pre-order, but had to get the big bundle with the games and extra controller. My condolences, John Doe. That probably ran you a pretty penny. Uh, loose copy of Bloodstained. Unfortunate. I'm abandoning hope of getting a PS5 this year. I don't want to resell one at launch, and I don't have any reason to get one yet. None of the games sold me on it yet. Honestly, I am not going to get one for personal for a while either. I'm going to wait a couple years and buy one for half the price used. That's what I did with the PS4. Uh, okay, this is a game that I was only able to get one copy of and then it sold out. Tales of the Abyss on the 3DS. I paid 10 bucks. It is disc only. Uh, should be a double up at least. I do wish it had the case, but what are you going to do? Life is Strange, limited edition. Pretty solid one. I don't really know what else to say. I think it was nine bucks. Restack that a little bit. Have a pre-order for PS5 and Xbox Series X. Dang, Mark, that's some uh, that's some high-level stuff right there. What sale is going on right now, Sam? It is the 50% off games that are $30 or under that when you buy six or more. So you do have to drop a little bit of cash, but... There are definitely some savings to be had. There's another blood stained right there, by the way. You should recycle all those envelopes. Um, can you? I feel like since they have pla oh, uh, it says it's made of 100% recycled plastic, but I don't think that you can recycle these because they have plastic in them. 
I'll look it up, and I will if I can, for sure. Missed out on PS5, but we are getting the new Oculus on Tuesday. That'll be cool. I'm interested to see how that is. I've played my brother's Oculus, and it was sweet. WarioWare Smooth Moves Wii. If it's a Logitech webcam, the Logitech gaming software transforms the camera to less than archaic. Lots more control of the webcam. Just open software, set up, and leave open during live. Okay, that's... <laughs> that's not what's supposed to happen when you open a case. Did you guys see that live? <laughs> Those are the kind of moments that I'm glad, like, I'm glad I open these things up live. Only from GameStop people send you two halves of a case. I'm sure it just broke in the mail, but dang. Like, <laughs> wow. I'm not even going to try. That's just going to go in its own pile over there. Just imagine being the UPS guy delivering all your packages. Yeah, luckily these were spaced out over like four days or so, so it wasn't all that bad, but there have been some bad days. Let's just say that. Have EB Games here. Haven't noticed any sales going on right now. Is that, Sam, is that in Canada where you are? I know EB, EB Games has a presence there. That's actually like a nostalgic brand for me. I don't know why, why did they close down in the U.S. That's where I used to get most of my Pokemon cards as a kid. Boy, wish I still had those. Here's another loose farming simulator making our ratio on Switch games complete worse. Nothing more in there. I was hoping for like a famous anus cookie or something like that, but I didn't. I didn't do it on that one. <laughs> no kidding, Nail. Yeah, they probably are sick of me at the warehouse. Uh, another blood stain. They didn't stomp on this one, so cheers. Got 56 people watching right now. That's pretty sweet. I think that might be a personal best. I think there were 60-something earlier, but thank you guys for stopping in. Definitely drop a like on the video if you want uh, this guy to be exposed to more people in the algorithm, which... Let's face it, you know, you know the world needs more of this right here. I'll stop, I'll stop with the begging now, because that's, that, that's tacky. Am I above it? No. Wario wear smooth moves. Not smooth, because you don't have a manual. And guess who's not buying one? This guy. Morning, Drifter Thrifters. Well, here it's not the morning, but what time is it there? I'm telling you, we got we got Canada, we got Norway up in here, we got Australia. This is a this is a globally diverse stream. And we're up to 63, 63 live viewers. Another copy of Bloodstained. Mm. I really went hard on those. I didn't realize exactly how many I had bought. Sometimes I just kind of like go into a daze. Guess what? Bloodstained for five fifty again. How many copies of that do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine complete copies at least. Probably at least three more incomplete. And what do you know? <laughs> oh my gosh, people. Look at this. Look at this. Our final two packages. Our time here is nearly at a close. If anyone has last minute questions, hit me up right now before I hop off. My life story, my social security number, my deepest secret, hit me. Warrior wear smooth moves on the Wii. 
incomplete. And last but not least, in the chat, can I get a virtual drum roll, please? I uh, can't. It feels like I'm gonna guess a an incomplete copy of Fortune Street on the Wii. That's my official guess for this package. Thanks, Dean, for the salutations. Buy two, get two games. Uh, two ninety nine or less is the current sale. Oh, interesting. Okay, so that's a good point. This sale actually is not the same as the sale that I bought all of these in. Buy two, get two free is similar but less convenient than 50% off six or more. Um, I didn't realize, people were probably telling me that earlier on in the stream and I didn't even realize that that's what it was. By the way, Warrior Wear Smooth moves incomplete. So I was right on the Wii because I felt the shape of the case, uh, but was not right on the title. I was right that it was not complete. Every once in a while, I'll get a game that is in a replacement case, but it has the manual. Somebody explain to me how that happens. Probably a GameStop employee literally jumping on the original case and they have to get a new one and they somehow are possessed by a courteous demon that makes them take that manual out of the original case and put it in the new one. I think that's how it works probably 100% of the time. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. Uh, hopefully someday YouTube will push live streams the same way it does pre-recorded. Yeah, I will say this. People gripe a lot about the algorithm. I do think that it disproportionately favors creators that already have a large audience. It does make it harder to get started. Um, that said, I mean, it's good at feeding people what they like, I guess. Uh, I don't know. It is what it is. Do I return the ones that I can't sell? Uh, yes, I do. I just returned a good number of them that I bought in new condition last uh, from the last sale that they sold to me not in sealed condition. So I got, I don't know, there were maybe like eight of them. Had brought those all in store and was like, yo, this isn't cool. And uh, they were like, okay. Actually, the first store I went to, they said, <laughs> I'm on my envelopes. The first store, they were, the guy was like, yeah, man, uh, my manager's out and he's not going to be back until tomorrow morning. I, because it's from multiple orders, I can't process it. So you're going to have to come back another time. I was like, dude, I throw all the way out here. Why are you doing this to me? But that's how it is. Where's Pooh? Hope, uh, hoping not him, sadly, on the... Uh, he's sleeping. I'm going to go, uh, as they say, poke the bear and uh, wake him up before I hop off here. Yoo-hoo, Pooh! Time to come say hi to the live stream before we go and also take a look and see if there are any more questions. Here he is, the man himself. I'm doing him a disservice by not wearing the hat that I have that my wife gave me with his image on it. Uh, nonetheless, he's the man. He forgives me. Come on, camera. This is brutal. Um, if I add more than four... It won't work for this sale. Just go with buy two, get two free for 60. Okay, so yeah, okay, that's what I was talking about. So buy two, get two free is less convenient than 50% off because you have to like take the time to make sure that all of the games are the same value that you're trying to check out because it will automatically take the games that are the least value. That's how it always works. And that's surprising that it's not letting you cart more than or not giving you discount on more than four. That kind of sucks. Um, so I take back what I said. Some of this stuff may not actually be worth it, or maybe it will if you can find games that are the same value. Um, but that's, I guess, how I would approach that. Uh, yeah, if you want to be notified of sales and specific games to buy in the moment, feel free to hop in the Discord. Said that earlier. Um, what <laughs> Elon Brown says, what does Retro Rick do? Uh, 
maybe he's responding to someone else. In general, he collects and resells games. Hey, Drifter Thrifters, thanks so much for the last minute uh, super chat. That really means a lot. Sure, that tummy is rumbly. <laughs> yeah, this boy, he doesn't get enough screen time. Really, I should have had him set up like <clears throat> right here. Uh, also, I mentioned Tuesday's vid. Stay tuned till the end of that because I have a new end screen that I think some of you guys will appreciate. Uh, Geraldine, you are welcome for all the tips. Thank you for saying thank you. That really, that means a lot to me. GameStop bought out EB Games. I didn't realize that. Anyway, guys, um, should probably hop off. I'm going to go eat dinner with my lovely wife tonight. Um, thank you so much for hopping into the stream. This is always a lot of fun. At our peak, I think we had like 60-something viewers, so that's definitely a personal best for me. Uh, yeah, keep an eye out. There's tons of opportunity in GameStop sales. Definitely lots of money to be made. I expect expect to at least double up on everything that I bought here, assuming that prices don't tank, which sometimes they do, and sometimes, especially in Q4, they go up a little bit, so it kind of equals out. Appreciate you guys. Lots of love here in Lexington, Kentucky. I will catch you guys on the flip. See y'all later.